is our game of poker. Take our tin cups in our hands while we gather round the cook's tent door. Dry mummies of hard crackers are given to each man. Oh, hard tack, come again no more. Tis the song, the sigh of the hungry. Hard tack, hard tack, come again no more. Many days have you lingered upon our stomach sore. Oh, hard tack, come again no more. There's a hungry, thirsty soldier who wears his life away with torn clothes. His better days are born. He is sighing now for whiskey with throat as dry as hay. Singing hard tack, come again no more. Tis the song, the sigh of the hungry. Hard tack, hard tack, come again no more. Many days have lingered upon our stomach sore. Oh, hard tack, come again no more. Tis the song that is uttered in camp by night and day. Tis the wail that is mingled with each snore. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for standing. Our hostess will be here shortly. In the meantime, it is my honor to Color Guard Commander sir. post the colors. Yes, sir. Present! Chief Musician, sound the national anthem. Yes, sir. Order arms. Thank you. 
position. Honored guests, neighbors, friends, please greet the President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln, and his lady. <laughs> Thank you very much. And, uh, well, we are so happy to be here with you tonight at this uh, meeting, and uh, I guess it is my birthday. I remember many years ago we were in uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, uh, on my 52nd birthday, traveling through the state of Ohio and going to uh, Washington, and there on the way we met the little girl who wrote me a letter earlier and told me I should grow a beard, and if I did, I might be president. So I grew the beard, and... Uh, I was elected president. But I remember the uh, first time that uh, I ran for political office and uh, in New Salem, Illinois, and I had to say a few words, and I started out with this uh, phrase. I said, you know, folks, my politics are like the old lady's dance, short and sweet. <laughs> well, I brought the personification of short and sweet with me tonight, my wife, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> she is sweet, and she does such a fantastic job out on the stump or out presenting our programs that now people are beginning to say, uh, uh, Mary, who's that big, tall guy with you? <laughs> but uh, we had some uh, interesting uh, uh, presentations today, uh, speaking with uh, a couple of groups, and it's so happy, uh, we're so happy to be here tonight to be with a lot of the friends that uh, we've known throughout the years and uh, it's just an honor for us to be here tonight and enjoy this great evening. I think we should have a lot of fun and enjoy the evening, uh, but I do need to give Mary just a minute for a few words. Mary, would you like to say a few words? We just are so happy that we are here with you tonight celebrating his birthday. It's such a milestone and it's such a nice time to be able to celebrate it and not have to be in turmoil. So we're just going to enjoy ourselves tonight. And thank you for coming. Thank you again. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Mr. President. I hope you do enjoy the evening. This gathering is in your honor. Thanks and it's also in the honor of the people of Montgomery County who are welcome to have you here. Mr. Robert Neff, would you please come forward? Please take your seats. Thank you very much. Please remain in your seats for the invitation. Our invitation tonight is derived from the Grand Army of the Republic and the Sons of the Union Veterans of the Civil War prayers that were used at community dinners following the American Revolution. In keeping with the Lincoln Society of Dayton's effort to symbolically recreate a gathering of 19th century Montgomery County citizens, imagine throughout this evening that it's 1859 and future President Abraham Lincoln and his lady are with us. <coughs> Please bow your heads. Our Heavenly Father, the high and mighty ruler of the universe, who looks down upon the government of men 
we earnestly ask your favor to bless our native land and preserve its purity and integrity, its free institutions for all coming time. Bless our Lincoln Society of Dayton, grant that it may accomplish its goals and that the products of our labors will yield good, great good to all. <clears throat> Give us willing hands and ready hearts to carry out successfully our organization's principles and objectives. Give us your aid in conducting our efforts to provide to our community and its residents a statue of Abraham Lincoln and by means of it to encourage interest in history and knowledge concerning his accomplishments as a great American. <coughs> and bless us with charity, harmony, and fellowship shall prosper us tonight at this gathering of friends and community leaders. Amen. Thank you, Bob. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy your meal. I think you will. Ms. Johnson, would you like to say some remarks? I would. Thank you so much. Well, we want to thank you all for coming to the 207th birthday party. Thank you, Color Guard. <clears throat> We appreciate you coming out and being with us today, and we appreciate uh, all of our special guests. We have some special ones in addition to President uh, Lincoln. We also have the founder of our group, I believe we have him here, don't we? Mr. Tom Cecil, who founded our group. And <laughs> And he had the vision of having school children study Lincoln, and he thought it most appropriate that they should study his values, his dedication to the Constitution, <coughs> and to the principles of Abraham Lincoln, and the fact that he could achieve these goals. And he felt that school sh children should be able to come to Courthouse Plaza and the courthouse and, and the iconic value of that location and see them coming to see the statue of Abraham Lincoln. He's over here. Would Tom like to stand? Just <laughs> wave. <laughs> okay, just wave, Tom. We'll take a wave. So a challenge that we have had since 2003, and that is uh, creating a, a sculpture, choosing the sculpture, uh, the dedication, the location, and a lot of challenges that have occurred in, in, in having this happen. And um, there was a group of five that started this, and we had lots of meetings, and to believe that we are here now celebrating his 207th birthday, and you are all here with us, and we are so happy you're here. Uh, kind of a part of the order is we have a silent auction here, and a lot of these things are truly historic. And I hope that you will uh, look at the historical uh, uh, entities. Uh, one of them is Dan Ostendorf's father, Lloyd Ostendorf. Uh, a number of his uh, prints are here, perhaps even original. We cannot guarantee that it's an original. We do know that we have a, a Roseback rocking chair from the 1860s. And that's guaranteed, but because it came from my husband. <laughs> <laughs> well, not that he was here in the <laughs> <laughs> And we hope that you'll have some, a lot of enjoyment looking at the items that we have presented here for you and that you will help us get to our goal. Uh, it takes, we think, about $270,000, not only for the sculpture, but for our uh, celebration, September 17, 2016. We have cham uh, champagne glasses for you here. We will be toasting after the dinner, just before the birthday cake, which is going to be uh, Mary Lincoln's recipe for her almond cake. And it, it will be after the dinner, and we will have a toast at that time. And we would like for you to carefully take these glasses home 
um, which we have had very lovingly printed for you. <laughs> so please note those, and they remind you of the date of our installation of the statue. And we thank you very much for coming. We hope that you'll have a wonderful time. Not only do we enjoy our color guard and our presentation of the music, I love all of this music and the bugle and the antique bugle, and I hope that you enjoy it as much as I. But we will have a reel, and they will be instructing us on how to dance. We are going to have wonderful Arthur Murray dancers who are going to present a, a, a format of a reel, and they will maybe even have two presentations. And she's my teacher, too. <laughs> so enjoy. Thank you. Want a sound mess call? Sure. <laughs> In keeping with the music being authentic 19th century, my associate Al Halley of Halley Music will sound dinner call or supper call. Enjoy your fine victuals. <laughs> oh, Mr. Yeah. President, I'd like to say another word. Of course, Mr. President. Just a few words. Please, Mr. President, you are running for office, I hope. Tom Cecil. Many years ago, I'm not sure how many, but years ago I met him somewhere in Dayton, and he was interested in Abraham Lincoln. I think I might have been Abraham Lincoln then. And we talked and talked, and uh, he's the one that got this idea started. And Tom and I have been to several different Lincoln conventions together. We've had a great time. Uh, Ohio, Columbus, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, West Virginia, uh, Tennessee. Uh, we've been to several of these conventions and he was a great companion for me on those trips that we took. And I just wanna say thank you, Tom. Thank you very much for your inspiration and your vision for the future. And thank you for traveling with me on those trips. Thank you, Tom. in Washington, D.C. We went to Washington. The traffic there was terrible. I think about eight lines going and eight lines coming. I think we got lost a couple of times when we finally made it to our destination. And Tom was very patient with me because I was driving. And uh, we just had a great time in those conventions. And I will always remember those great memories that Tom and I had in the, at those conventions and other places also. So thank you very much, Tom, again. I really appreciate it. Yes, sir. Um, we have items, as Diane said, from um, to 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 satisfy your palate, to add some antiques to your home, um, a little bit of something for everyone. So I hope that you will look over the items and um, make your selections. We appreciate all that you are doing to help us make this evening a success. If you have questions about any of the items that are on display, please see one of us wearing um, a white flower. And we will hope to answer any questions you might have about the content or whatever. For your convenience this evening, we are accepting cash, good old green stuff, credit cards, because there is a new device that has just been um, made available to us by one of our sponsors, and we thank her. So that if you don't have enough green stuff or a check in your wallet, we can take your credit card. Bear with me, I'll be the handler of it, and I just learned how to use the device this evening. So, but it does work. So to, fall, to uh, borrow a statement from the PBS auction, Bid often and bid high, and we thank you for your contributions. Is there anyone who does not have a glass of champagne? Over here. Oh, oh, champagne. Dixie. We have one person in desperate need. I would sit there and tell you a joke, but anybody who's heard me tell a joke will be grateful that I don't.
Dixie over here on the left also. I think you're it's really hard to have a toast when somebody doesn't have a toast to toast. Or as a friend of mine said, if you can't have champagne, settle for rye or whole wheat. Bad joke. Aren't you glad I'm not going to tell it? All righty, are all set? And the reason it's important is there are two people you've already been introduced to tonight that you really need to appreciate for all they have done. Jim Crabtree was here representing President Abraham Lincoln, who is essentially the definition of a great American. No one can fully appreciate, no one today can fully appreciate the wonderful things that that man did keeping this a United States. We owe that to him. The second really notable person here tonight, and I apologize because there's many notable people here, but the one that I want to have recognized by a toast, you've already been introduced to also, Tom Cecil. Without Tom, we wouldn't be here, but that's minor in comparison to the fact that on September 17th, a statue of Abraham Lincoln honoring his visit to Dayton in 1859 will be unveiled on Courthouse Square. For those of you that haven't heard the story and aren't active perhaps in the Lincoln Society, according to verbal history, it was here in Dayton that the idea was first floated of Abraham Lincoln, Lincoln running for President of the United States. So not only did we, Ohio and Dayton, contribute greatly to the victory of the American Civil War, but we in Montgomery County had a major part in Mr. Lincoln becoming President Lincoln. So ladies and gentlemen, if you would please charge your glasses, raise your glasses, in a toast in honor of President and Mrs. Abraham Lincoln and Tom Cecil, founder of the Lincoln Society. Hear, hear. hear, hear. Isn't it good? Finally, you get to empty that glass. And, and Fred? Yes. May we include in this toast as well our dear friend, Chuck Berry, who's president, who, <laughs> president, who is also enjoying the same birth date and who has sponsored a $25,000 gift to the Lincoln Society. Oh, and we thank him for coming <laughs> here. Dear Harry and Chuck Berry, thank you very much for your generosity and support of public, of educating the people concerning Mr. Lincoln and all he has done. Here, here. That Lincoln was born on my birthday. Outstanding. <laughs> I was born on his birthday. <laughs> well, thank you. I think it is now totally appropriate that we uh, sing happy birthday. And my good friend Al Halley, well, for, since none of us, I'm sure, know the music, would you... Chief musician Hallie, give us a tune. Here we go. Happy birthday, everybody. To Abraham Lincoln and Chuck Berry. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to one more part of ceremony and shortly thereafter you can uh, enjoy your dessert if the color guard will please get ready to post the colors thank you very much 
See, that's the reason I'm a lieutenant. I'm the oldest lieutenant in the 1st Ohio Volunteer Infantry, and I don't understand why I never get promoted, but it's because I keep making mistakes like that. Only in front of the president. What can I say? <laughs> If you haven't figured out, all of us are in Union Army Civil War era replica uniforms. And I say that with great emphasis because the number one question that we get asked when we're at living history by school students is what side were you on? <laughs> So it's important for me to let you know which side. Not we, but our ancestors. We are the Sons of Union veterans of the Civil War. And literally, the blood of Civil War veterans is in our veins. Color Guard Commander, Sir. retire the colors. Sir. I'll play at your Sound the bugle. Thank you for the Enjoy your dessert. Following dessert, oh, Mr. President, more words. Sir, I will, of course, defer. No, you stay. You stay right there. It's fine. As President of the United States of America, I tonight proclaim that Fred is now a general. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Yes, I will put that down and I will enjoy it forever and ever. <laughs> subject for confirmation. <laughs> okay, now what are we talking about? Oh. Dessert information. information. <laughs> 